What's up guys, Parker here with another Power BI 3 minute tip. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can validate email addresses in your data set using Python. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So I have a data set with valid and non-valid email addresses. You can see some look pretty regular, some have a bunch of at signs, multiple dots, um, some have white space in the middle. So we're gonna go through and validate if each one of these uh, are actual email addresses. And as a bonus, which email addresses have actually been set up and are currently being used. This is made really easy by using a Python module called validate email. So we're going to start there by downloading that module module. So with Python installed, all you have to do is type in pi dash M pip install. And the module is called validate underscore email. So let that download, let it install. And once you have that installed, you can come back to your data, click run Python script. And we know that our data is held in a uh, pandas data frame called dataset. And in case uh, you need a refresher on how to run Python scripts on your data, I will go ahead and link my video. So click on that little tag. And in order to use the validate email um, module, we need to type in from validate email import validate email. So it's calling the validate email module and importing the validate email function. So we're gonna create a new uh, column. So we'll type in data set and we'll give the name of our new column. We'll call it uh, valid email. And we'll set that equal to data set email. And we want to call this validate email function on every row of our data set. We do that by typing in dot apply and we're going to use a little bit of Python here um, to run that function over each one of those rows by typing in lambda x validate email x. So once we have that typed, we can go ahead and click OK. And it's going to bring up a single table here. If we click on table, it'll expand that. And we should now have two columns, our original email column and a valid email column showing false or true. And we can kind of dig into, uh, into each row here. We see that this is obviously a, uh, it's not a valid email, so it returns false. But the third row, something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero at example.com is technically a valid email. So it totally works. And just to make sure as a sanity check, I threw in my power BI lead at gmail.com and that is a valid email address. So that's looking good. So one more step and we can actually verify if the email exists. So we'll alter the Python script by double clicking on the run Python script. And we will add one more column. And we're gonna call this verified email. And we're gonna basically do the same thing. I'll actually just copy it. So we're gonna throw that down there, but we're going to add one more, um, we're gonna add one more argument and we need to type in verify equals true. Oh, I should spell verify right. Uh, verify equals true. So if you run this right now, you'll get an error because in order to use this verify equals true, you have to install uh, one more package. And this package is basically allowing you uh, to be able to verify if it really is a valid email address. And in order to use that package, we have to type in uh, pi-m pip install and the package is called pi3dns. So run that. Once you have pi3dns installed, you can now click OK. And it'll run and verify those email addresses. And once that's done, we'll have three columns now. Our normal email, our valid email, and our verified email. This takes a little bit longer uh, since it actually has to go and ping these SMTP servers and be able to verify. And there it is. So we see false for the ones that are not uh, verified emails in blank for ones that are. It's surprising that it doesn't show up as true, but just as our sanity check again, powerbielite at gmail.com, it shows up as blank for the verified email, meaning it is a verified email. So if you have a big email list of, uh, of people and you wanna see which ones are actually true that you can then send messages to, go ahead and run this function and you'll see which ones will actually uh, be able to um, send an email to. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next Power BI 3 Minute Tip.